start off and thank each and every one of you for coming out and hearing my story. And also I want to thank in particular my mom and my brother who uh, came, it out, came out today. And uh, unfortunately my father, he couldn't be here today, but I just want him to know once he sees the recording that uh, he's uh, on my mind and that I love him very much. All right. Ever since the beginning of my life, I've always had Jesus as part of my everyday. Through both great and struggling times, Jesus always seemed to work in the most surprising ways. To such a mysterious degree that to this day I'm at a loss of words as to how certain problems became resolved or my personal goals were reached. Well now, to give you an overview of my background and how I came to know Christ. 23 years back, I was born and raised in a household of Brazilian parents in Addison. And like Mark already sh said, you know, Brazil, duh. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no. Um, my parents at that time were followers of the Catholic Church. This meant that straight from the first time I could open my eyes, I was taught about and knew of Jesus Christ. As the years passed, and I continued to please my parents by attending weekly Mass, sat through CCD, or otherwise known as Sunday School, and continued following my family's Catholic roots, my curiosity grew more and more as to who Jesus really was. As I searched for the answer of who Christ was and what he meant to me in my life, certain loved, one, certain loved ones, and in particular the Fernandez family, came into my life. They began to teach me of the significance of the Holy Bible, and I definitely wanted to learn more. Of those loved ones, one in particular, my girlfriend and my best friend, Claudia, would sit down with me and would explain who Christ was to her and the relationship that she had with him. Through intense conversations, I came to understanding Jesus more and more. Our talks sometimes, if something couldn't be answered, would be taken to her mom or her dad, Papucho, to find the right answers. After some time, the answers would even come from, her, from Claudia's brother, Mario, during his Sunday school teachings. I'll never forget the first time that she invited me here, she being Claudia, uh, to Bloomingdale Church. As I sat down and began to pray to God, I remember one prayer in particular in which I asked for advice as to what I should do with an argument that I was having with my dad. Well, after worshiping, a man who I would become good friends with, Pastor David, came up on stage and began to minister the word. The, the exact details Details of what he said, I don't remember, but the answers to my very prayer came through that first message, and I couldn't believe it. I turned to Claudia in shock, and she just happened to smile at me, as if she knew what was going on through my head already. From that moment on, I became very grateful of this new church in my life. I decided to come back over and over again. As I learned more about scripture, through not only services, but also Mark Tobby's 1823 Bible group. There and now, I really began to seek answers as to who Jesus was. Sure enough, my want to find those answers really made my relationship with him grow. With time, I began to overcome some struggles that I had fallen into early in my college careers through the understanding that my sins were totally forgiven through Christ. Day in and day out, I turned to Christ to lead me towards his righteous path. But time in and time out, I would fall into the same wrongful patterns. Until this past summer, when I was blessed with the opportunity to travel to Brazil to visit relatives and try to gain some type of job experience in my career of international business. Let me start off by telling everyone that my plans weren't by any means set ones. During my first couple of days, I hung out with a lot of family, and in particular, two of my cousins, who just so happened to be pastors. Through the many conversations that we had, only in the first two weeks of my stay, they insisted and encouraged me to attend an event that they both said would be a life-changing experience. This was something I've heard many times before, but this particular event that I did end up attending wasn't, was as important as my cousins made it out to be. To be a bit more specific about this event, it was somewhat of a retreat known as an encontro. This encontro, which pretty much translates to encounter, uh, did live up to its life-changing expectations. Here during this three-day encounter, I was absolutely overtaken by the presence of God. 
repeatedly message after message, answers to my questions and prayers about Christ and my life's direction were said in a way that I had never felt or heard before in my life. Those intense messages led me to express or led me to expressing to everyone here today what had happened to me on the very last day of that encounter. During that day, I declared with arms wide open and proclaimed to the heavens my love that I had for Christ. After all of the lessons and growth I had achieved in a relationship with Christ during my years of life, I had finally understood, finally fully understood, what Jesus meant to me. That day, I had completely accepted and asked Christ to guide all of my ambitions and dreams. Wow, is the only word that can somewhat describe the overwhelming feeling that came upon me at that moment. As the Holy Spirit came pouring over my flesh, my sins were wiped clean, and I only remember seeing a bright flash of white light come into my vision. From there on out, I began to embrace all of God's blessings that came before and after my declaration of Christ as my one and only Savior. To only express briefly to everyone one of my major blessings that came immediately after that experience. Well, how do I put it? Like I had said before, I barely had not made any plans for the, that Brazil trip. But God worked in my life and blessed me with not just one, but with two internships for that job experience I was seeking towards my career. These experiences in Brazil, plus the many other blessings that have come because of my relationship with Christ, were only made possible through Him. I'd like to leave everyone with a verse that I hold dear to my heart that sums up my thoughts, beliefs, and trust that I have in the Lord. Not to mention a verse that perfectly explains the reasons as to why I'm here today, declaring my life to Him. As Philippians 4.13 says, For I can do everything through Christ who strengthens, who strengthens me. Now, now please direct all praise and honor to Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.